Okay, Jensen, <laughs> just tell us about your qualifying today. It's nice to see you in third position and you had a good burst of speed just at the right time. Yeah, I mean, all the way through qualifying, the car felt pretty good. Um, but um, I couldn't get enough front end into the car. Uh, and eventually we did, in, at the end of qualifying, the car felt very good. It's the balance I was looking for all the way through qualifying and we finally got it at the end in Q3. When it matters, we can all say that we could have gained more um, or, or had a slightly better lap. But um, I'm pretty happy with it, and uh, uh, it's a, the clean side of the grid, which, which, which should be good for me down into Turn 1. It's not uh, known for its overtaking round here, but with so many races these days being won in pit stops, does that almost change how you approach things tomorrow? Yeah, <clears throat> pit stops are important, um, but I think you've got more chance of overtaking here than you do around Nürburgring, uh, and we made some good moves there. You know, we've got, we've got the tire, these tyres that degrade a lot, purposely, uh, and we've got DRS, we've got Kurs, uh, so I think there'll be some, some overtaking. If you're quicker and you get a good run off the last corner, you could DRS uh, down the straight. So, um, yeah, being third's not such a bad thing like it maybe it was in the past. 200th Grand Prix tomorrow. I'm not sure if the journalists are more excited about it than maybe you are. But uh, d is that something that, that matters to you? Would you like to get a good result for that? I love cake, so... Uh, <laughs> I'm hoping someone's going to give me a cake. Um, went for dinner last night and the boys sorted me out with a cake, which is nice. And then we got another cake at the hotel, so I'm already two cakes up, hoping for another cake today. But we'll get baking. Thanks very much. Thank you.